Today's recap is of a Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets, one of Luke Besson's masterpieces that is often overlooked by the audience. Please, give us a like, and subscribe to the channel, we'll leave your thoughts in the comments below. In the 28th century, cooperation between the Earth and extraterrestrial species has expanded the former International Space Station to the point its mass threatens to cause gravitational disruption to Earth itself. Relocated to deep space, it becomes Alpha, a space-traveling city inhabited by millions of species from thousands of planets. A police division was created by the United Human Federation to preserve peace throughout the galaxy, and amongst its staff are Valerian and his partner Lorelai. En route to a mission, Valerian had dreams of a planet, Mole, where a low-tech humanoid race is fishing for pearls containing energy using animals to replicate them. Mole was annihilated by a huge spacecraft that caused an explosion. Some of the inhabitants enter a discarded vessel and accidentally trap themselves inside, but the planet's princess Leo Mina is stranded outside. Just before her death, she conveys an energy wave containing a telepathic message. Valerian and Lorelein are on a mission to retrieve the last mole converter, which is currently in the hands of black market dealer Egan Cyrus. In a marketplace on planet Kyrian in an alternate dimension, Valerian disrupts a meeting between Egan and two hooded figures who resemble the humanoids from his dream. They seek the converter, the small animal in his dream. Valerian and Lorelein recover the converter and steal one of the energy pearls. Aboard their ship, Valerian learns that Mole was destroyed 30 years earlier, and all information about it is classified. They return to Alpha where Commander Aron Fillet informs them that the center of the station has been irradiated by an unknown force, rendering it highly toxic. Troops set into the area have not returned, and the radiation is increasing. Lorelein and Valerian are assigned to protect the commander during an interstation summit to discuss the crisis. Against the commander's wishes, Lorelein maintains possession of the converter. During the summit, unidentified humanoids suddenly attack, incapacitating everyone and kidnapping Philip. Valerian chases the kidnappers to the irradiated area but crashes his space plane. Lorelein enlists alien information brokers known as Dogen Daguis to track Valerian and finds him at the edge of the irradiated zone. She is kidnapped by a primitive tribe, the Bolan bathers of the planet Gora, and presented at their emperor's dinner as the choice course. Valerian infiltrates the tribe's territory with the help of the shape-shifting bubble. They rescue Lorelein and escape, but Bubble is fatally wounded. Valerian and Lorelein venture further into the irradiated area, and discover it is not dangerous, and that it contains the remains of an antique spacecraft. They reach a large, shielded hall where they find the humanoids, known as the Pearls, with an unconscious fillet. The Pearls' leader, Emperor Haven Limai, explains that his people lived peacefully on Mole until a battle occurred between the Federation and a hostile alien race. Fillet, the human commander, ordered the use of fusion missiles that disabled the enemy mothership and sent it crashing into the planet, destroying Mole. Upon her death, Princess Leo Minot transferred her soul into Valerian's body. The surviving pearls were trapped in a downed spaceship from the battle, but they managed to repair it and learn human technology and history. Scrap ships took their vessel to Alpha, where they assimilated more knowledge from different species and built a ship of their own. They needed to convert and pearl in order to launch their ship and find a planet to recreate their homeworld. Phillip admits his role in the genocide but argues it was necessary to end the war and covers it up to prevent humans from losing credibility and influence in Alpha. Valerian and Lorelein disagree, arguing that the commander is trying to avoid the consequences of his actions. When Phillip becomes belligerent, Valerian knocks him out. Valerian hands over the pearl he took from Egan, and Lorelein persuades him to return the converter. While the Pearls prepare their spacecraft for takeoff, Phillips' Catron robot soldiers attack the Pearls, and the government soldiers are sent to assist Valerian but are ultimately defeated. The spacecraft departs and Phillips is arrested. Valerian and Lorelein are left adrift aboard an Apollo Command slash service module, and Lorelein answers Valerian's marriage proposal with a maybe as they wait for rescue, 